Hello, guys. <laughs> I'm Rowan. And I'm Miguel. And in today's video, we will be showing you guys three special scratch blocks that we use um every time we're on scratch. These are blocks that we will use without a doubt over the other options that we have. Um, I will I will uh, say, guys. All right, guys. So. The first combination of blocks that we will be doing is an easy way to do the arrow keys. So instead of creating a ridiculously long piece of code, which is if, 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 very annoying. Uh, yeah, that, 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 yeah. <laughs> Accurate representation. Accurate representation. Uh. What we will do instead is not use that, and instead, we will use the change X and the change Y by. We don't need any if statements at all. We use the change X and the change Y, and we also use the sensing keys for the keys. This is almost the exact same thing as what we would normally do as the really long script but it is a lot easier and does not require as many blocks all we need are two more minuses and two multiplications and we got it what we want to do is put the right arrow minus the left arrow the right arrow minus the left arrow the right arrow minus the left arrow as multiplication. The right arrow minus the left arrow. And we multiply that by five. Explain what this multiply does. The multiply makes it move by five pixels instead of just one. And do the same thing doing up arrow minus down arrow times five. Make sure it's not left arrow minus right arrow. And make sure to put this all in a forever loop. Okay. And this is the script. Um, it's a script that doesn't work. Like... Rowan's arrow keys are broken, so we're going to switch it to A and D. Make sure that it's still the right one minus the left one. And as you can see, it's working. But you may have noticed that whenever we try to go left, we go right. And ever, whenever we go right, we go left. Same thing. And, oh, wait. So in order to fix that, I actually put these things in the wrong spaces. So now it should work. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's go on and move on to the next block. Okay, so for our next block, we're going to be showing you something, a trick that we use to replace the hide block for a very special reason. So for this, we're going to need to make a new sprite. We're just going to use a circle sprite. Ball. And here we have it. So we're going to center the ball on the screen. And we're also going to hide it. I mean, we're going to hide it. One thing with hiding sprites is that other sprites cannot interact with them. So it, let's show this right really quick. Let's say if touching ball then say hello and let's test it out it should make us say hello when we reach the middle we can see that scratch cat oh my god when, now when we run the game we can see that scratch cat says hello when he reaches the center which is really cool this can be used for things such as invisible obstacles in a platformer.
on to the next one. <clears throat> For the last hack that we are going to be showing you, the greatest block combination in our opinion of all time on Scratch is the smoothing effect. This can be used for so many things, and this is almost mandatory in the games. Let's say you have a title screen, and you want to make some super cool buttons. How can you do that? You can do that with the smoothing effect. Let's say you want to make an AI paddle for your Pong. You can use that doing the smoothing effect. This is a very versatile block combination, and this is why we think it is the best block combination on Scratch. So, let's show you how to do it. In the cat sprite, we're going to say set, I mean, we're going to say go to X and Y, and we're going to need a little bit of code for this. So, drag out a plus, a minus and a divided by and make it so that there's two of each then go back to the code and drag out an x position an x position a y position and a y position so we're going to say we're going to put a minus inside of the first input four divided by and put that in the second input four plus Make sure you do not mess this up. Otherwise, your game will be very glitchy and broken. This is crucial. Then, drag one X position into the middle. Oh shoot, I just... Make sure that it's in the second input. Then, for these two, we're going to say X and X. And divide it by 5. Then we're going to do this whole process again, but replace every all the X with Y. Bro, I hate this. Also, I didn't know I don't know why I said to drag out two X's and two Y positions. But you don't need the extras. <coughs> Instead of five, we're going to say like 1.1. And now we can see that it's smoothly going to its set position. Pretty cool. Compare this to how it was moving before, and you will notice a drastic difference. If we make this sprite, this point sprite, actually have a sprite, we will see that this new point sprite is going to a set direction, I mean, a set, po a set point, and this cat sprite is just following it slowly so the cat sprite is kind of like the actual costume and this dot I mean and this square is like the hitbox this can be used for a detector system so your cat can't run into any walls or hit anything that is not supposed to hit very cool this, in our opinion, is the greatest combination of scratch blocks. Comment down below if you think, comment down below if you agree, or if you have a better idea, type it inside of the Discord, link in the description, and make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, and, and you, you guys, guys definitely, definitely use some scratch, scratch ability. ability.